He wants to be a woman. That's why they're getting divorced. But you still mad and bitter because he allegedly cheated on, cheated on you with Diddy Glover. You were complaining months ago that Dwayne Wade had a secret gay love affair with Diddy Glover. She went on Twitter cussing out Diddy and then deleted it because Diddy want to um, throw Dwayne um, a, 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 a divorce freak off. And you go to the feds and allegedly tell them that Dwayne Wade was involved in those freak offs. Former Miami Heat icon Dwayne Wade revealed in April's 2023 episode of Showtime's Headliners that the state's laws against LGBTQ people are part of the reason why his family left Florida. But now it turns out he was also protecting himself, all thanks to his wife, actress Gabrielle Union. For years now, rumors have been running around that Wade is gay, but his famous wife has done everything to keep the story under wraps. That's another reason why I don't live in that state, Wade said when asked by host Rachel Nichols what he would say to the state legislators who might have his jersey and brought their kids to his games to cheer for him in the heat. I have to make decisions for my family, um, not just personal individual decisions. I mean, obviously the taxes is great. You know, having Wade County is great. A lot of people don't know that. I have to make decisions for my family, not just personal individual decisions. Obviously the taxes are great. Having Wade County is great, but my family would not be accepted or feel comfortable there. And so that's one of the reasons why I don't live there, he added. In recent years, Florida has passed several anti-LGBTQ laws. The first signed into law in March 2022 was dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill. The law, formerly known as the Florida Parental Rights and Education Act, governs early childhood classroom instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation. That law was recently expanded. The state banned medications and surgery for new adolescent patients seeking gender transitions, making Florida the first to do so through the actions of its Board of Medicine. But by moving out of Florida, was Wade protecting himself or his daughter? Union thinks otherwise, and it's just her. In early 2024, former rapper Mace took his chance to throw shade at Wade. This time, it was for Wade wearing nail polish during his appearance at Casilla Center. Mace, who was famous in hip-hop during the 1990s and early 2000s, took exception during a recent episode of his It Is What It Is podcast. D-Wade, D-Wade. This is like seeing Jordan. It's like seeing Jordan in lingerie. It's just crushing me hard. <laughs> this is like Michael Jordan in lingerie, said Mace, who once rapped alongside Diddy, also accused of being gay. It's just crushing. It's what you don't want to see. It just ruined everything, he added. It was unclear if the rapper was joking, but Wade has faced backlash before from the hip-hop community. Rappers Young Thug and Boozy have both been critical of Wade for supporting his transgender daughter, Zaya. To the public, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade have never been afraid to keep it real about their relationship, but in private, things are not as calm. The couple met in February 2007 but didn't start dating for another two years. When they first crossed paths, Union had recently divorced her first husband, former NFL player Chris Howard, and Wade was still married to his then-wife, Siobhan Funches, with whom he shares two children, Zaya and Zaire. Union and Wade went public with their relationship in 2010 and tied the knot in 2014. The actress became a stepmom to Wade's two children with Funches and his son Xavier. Wade is also the guardian of his nephew, Davion Morris. In November 2018, the couple welcomed their first child together, daughter Kavia James. To hear Union tell it when the couple first met at a Super Bowl party in 2007, where they were both tapped to co-host, it was hardly love at first sight. According to E! News, Union told Essence that sparks weren't exactly flying when the two first crossed paths. I stayed on one side of the room with my people, the actress recalled. We like to party and he doesn't drink at all. He was on the other side of the room holding Bible study. In 2014, she got even more candid about their initial interaction, telling Glamour, When I met Dwayne, his resume looked like crap. Athlete, going through a divorce, nine years younger than me. None of that screamed, let's have a lasting relationship. However, after going through a heart-crushing breakup, Union decided to give Wade a chance. As mentioned earlier, Union and Wade started dating in 2009, but they didn't appear together publicly until July 2010. The duo posed for photos together at the Summer Groove Benefit Dinner in Hollywood, Florida. Just two days later, the couple was seen engaging in a little courtside PDA at Wade's All-Star Basketball Game at Miami's American Airlines Arena. The couple appeared on the February 2012 cover of Essence together, but they weren't hearing wedding bells just yet. 
We're not rushing it, Wade told the magazine. Both of us have been married before, and we understand that if we choose to marry again, we want it to be right. We both took failing at marriage hard. The next time, it's gotta be forever. The gay rumors almost ruined the relationship earlier on. In early 2013, the couple briefly parted ways due to their busy schedules, but those close to them alleged something bigger. The Bring It On alum got candid about their split the following year, telling Glamour, When Dwayne and I broke up briefly in 2013, it was because of distance and scheduling. I finished filming Being Mary Jane, and then I flew to Vegas right away to start shooting Think Like a Man too. I couldn't take time off and missed some quality togetherness we desperately needed. Moving forward, Forward, I decided my work schedule has to make sense for our family. It was later revealed that Wade had fathered a child with Basketball Wives star Aya Matoyarin during the couple's break. Then, towards the end of 2013, the two announced their engagement. Wade shared the same photo with the caption. She said yes. As Union later recounted on Good Morning America, the basketball star had recruited his kids to be part of the proposal. They were like, we want to do a presentation for you. They like to do skits and songs and stuff. So we turn around and they're like, okay, we're ready. And I turn back around and all the boys were holding up signs that said, will you marry us? Union said, admitting that she didn't think the proposal was serious at first since Wade's children had been asking the couple to get married for two years. Then she says she saw Wade down on one knee with a ring in his hand. And I was like, oh, this is serious. This is a thing. Yes, of course, yes she recalled. Then in 2014, on the Arsenio Hall show, Union admitted that it was important to her for the couple to sign a prenup before their nuptials. The biggest difference between this and the last marriage will be a prenup. At my insistence, she said, when you have your own stuff, you don't need to worry about anyone else's stuff. So everyone should go into the relationship knowing I'm here for you and you're here for me. And the reality is I've never seen Dwayne balance a checkbook, so I got to protect my stuff. It's the wave of the future. Later that year, on August 30th, 2014, the couple married during an intimate wedding in Miami, surrounded by family and friends. Union previously told Arsenio Hall that they planned their wedding to be a family affair through and through, including no bridesmaids, no groomsmen. It's just us and the kids, and we're just riding out, just us. Just a day after exchanging vows, the newlyweds chronicled their three-part honeymoon on Instagram. They spent time on a deserted island in the Maldives before going on safari in Africa's Serengeti. Their final stop was in the Seychelles Islands. In a People magazine's exclusive excerpt from her book, We're Going to Need More Wine, the actress opened up about the fertility issues she'd been struggling with for years, experiencing eight or nine miscarriages due to adenomyosis, a uterine condition similar to endometriosis. For three years, my body has been a prisoner of trying to get pregnant. I've either been about to go into an IVF cycle, in the middle of an IVF cycle, or coming out of an IVF cycle, she wrote. Despite her struggles, however, Union said that she and Wade remain bursting with love and ready to do anything to meet the child we've both dreamed of. With answered prayers, Union and Wade welcomed their first child together via surrogate on November 7, 2018. The couple announced the birth of their daughter Kavia James on Instagram, sharing sweet photos from her arrival. A lovely day. We are sleepless and delirious, but so excited to share that our miracle baby arrived last night via surrogate and 11. Seven will forever be etched in our hearts as the loveliest of all the lovely days. They both captioned their respective posts. Of her daughter's journey into the world, the She's All That star told Oprah Winfrey in December 2018, we want her to understand that she was so loved, wanted, desired, protected, and nurtured when she was just a thought, Union said. We want her to know everything it took to bring her into this world, usually around the time she starts talking back. We want her to really understand what we went through. The jovial moment was followed by some bits of controversy. After her controversial departure from AGT, Wade publicly defended his wife in a series of tweets, writing that he was proud of Union for standing up for what she stands for. The actress had alleged that she was fired from the show due to her refusal to remain silent in the face of a toxic culture. In September 2020, the mother of one in NBC announced they had reached an amicable resolution. Then, in February 2020, after Wade's daughter Zaya came out as transgender, both he and Union supported her publicly and privately during her personal journey. Wade opened up about the moment Zaya came out during an interview with Ellen DeGeneres. Zaya, our 12-year-old, came home and said, Hey, so I want to talk to you guys. I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth, and I want to be referenced as she and her. I'd love for you guys to call me Zaya, he said. 
In an exclusive interview that same month, the proud dad got candid about loving and supporting all of his children exactly as they are. As I'm raising Zaya, as I'm raising my kids, you just try to put them in the best situations to be able to succeed in life, Wade shared. How I do that, and how me and my wife decide to do that, may be different from another family, but we want them to know there's always unconditional love, that it will always be support. We've got you no matter what. And we see you, he added. I see you how you see you. Some critics later interpreted that as Wade's own admission to being gay. Union also made a statement on Twitter writing, Meet Zaya. She's compassionate, loving, whip smart, and we are so proud of her. It's okay to listen to, love, and respect your children exactly as they are. Love and light, good people. Zaya's sharing of her story marked the beginning of the Union Wade family's public LGBTQ advocacy, for which they were honored as one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2020. Another issue that worries fans about the nature of the couple's relationship is Union's own admission that they split the bills 50-50. During an interview on the Black Millionaires podcast, the actress revealed that she and Wade share an equal burden when it comes to household finances. In this household, we split everything 50-50, she said. But in the other households that each of us have to support, there's always this like gorilla on your back. That's like, you better work, be, you better work. Oh, you're going to sleep in? You know, somebody might not eat. Union explained that she's working to overcome her scarcity mindset from when she was a struggling actress in Hollywood. I think I just have more responsibilities for my money. I get nervous like, oh God, that movie didn't open. Am I going to have enough to hold everybody up? Do you really believe Gabrielle Union is protecting Dwayne Wade's true identity? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thanks for watching.